Hi everybody, Robert Jones, back in the kitchen with you today with a spaghetti squash. These things are great to eat, they're easy to make, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So, here is the squash. I just split it in half, boop, and took out the seeds. Nothing more than that. Now I'm just going to put it in a dish, I'm going to put some parchment or plastic over this and pop it in the microwave for about 10 minutes and then stick a fork in it. If the fork goes in nice and easy and you can pull the flesh apart, it's done. You can also roast this in the oven if you'd prefer, but it takes 45 minutes to an hour and vegetables cook really, really well in the microwave. So this is an easy, easy recipe. All right, so pretty much I think I'm going to do one half of this at a time because that's all that's going to fit in my microwave. Okay, you guys, so I had to microwave this for a total of 17 minutes. Uh, I tried 12 minutes. It wasn't quite enough. So um, here we go. So I just, again, sliced this in half. I put a piece of parchment between it, and I'm going to use a towel to take this off because it is bloody hot. Oh, you can see, if you see there, it's very soft. See how it moves easily? So let's set that to the side. I'll take the parchment off. How delicious does that look? Okay, so the way you do this, and I think this is convenient to have this container. I have a bowl, which we're going to put the parts in. But uh, I'm going to leave it in the container because it's an easy way to hold it. Now here's the magic of the spaghetti squash. When you take your fork and you just run it along here, you see that it turns into these little pieces that look like spaghetti. Thus the name spaghetti squash. Look at that. Can you see that? It's delicious. And you just kind of fluff them up and f pull them out. Might be a little overdone there, but that's all right. All right. Looking good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon. I'm going to pull this out of here and put it in the bowl like this. Get it all. That's what grandma says. Look at that. Looking like spaghetti. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. This smells so good. I always say that, but it is true. <laughs> you could serve it just like this at the table too, but I'm going to make something special for you guys today. So, I'm trying to get all the meat out. So, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit of water in the bottom there. I'm going to dump that out. Okay, now, you have your squash here. Now you could serve it like this. You could just do nothing, but I want to make it a little bit special today. So what I'm going to do is instead of butter, I'm going to add a little bit of cream. You could add butter instead. You can make this a savory item or you can make it a sweet item. So you could add some honey in here. You could do all kinds of good stuff. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper and add a little bit of salt. There you go. About a, maybe half a teaspoon to that. And then Toss this deliciousness up and a tiny bit of nutmeg, which is a very Italian thing to do. Just a tiny bit of nutmeg. All right, and just toss this. Look how good that looks. Now, of course, you can do this any way you want. You could put a bunch of honey in here. You could put a bit of maple syrup. You could put a ton, a, a little a tiny bit of vanilla. You could put some parsley. You could add garlic. Or you can use this as pasta and put some marinara sauce on it. All right. I think it looks pretty darn good. All right. Let me put some on a plate and give it a taste. Well, okay. A bowl. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. A little bit different angle today. It is a moment you've been waiting for. Ooh, we got some spaghetti squash to try. Just a little more. Oh, it's really hot. Really hot. All right. Looks like spaghetti on a fork. Mmm. That's really nice. You can taste the squash. It's really good. And taste that nutmeg in there. It gives it a little bit of a punch. A little bit of an Italian flavor. Let's try another bite. Mmm. Now, you can make this super light. Remember, you can just have the squash with some salt and pepper. You can add a little bit of butter, you make it a little bit heavier, you can add some cream, you can add all kinds of stuff. And this, you know what, I'm gonna go for a third bite because I'm hungry. And this is pretty darn good. Mmm. Let's try, guys. It's pretty good. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the spaghetti squash today. As you can see, it's a good alternative to having pasta if you're trying to cut some carbs down, or it's just a great vegetable source of deliciousness. All right, you guys, I'm Robert Jones. This is Keeping Up with the Joneses. I can be found everywhere as Eudaimonious or Eudaimonious Mark II, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-S.
I U S M A R K I I. You can also find the hashtag Your Everyday Santa, all one word. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Bye. Thank you.